Good morning, Pastor Larry here. It is Wednesday, August 12th. Looking forward to seeing you at the uh, church tonight. Uh, we're starting our series, The Chosen, this evening. Um, so uh, just come to uh, just enjoy yourselves, have some fellowship, and uh, I know we'll have a good time tonight. But this morning I'm uh, uh, using a verse today from one of the Bible apps I got. Um, and it comes right after a very familiar verse, uh, verse uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says this but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you very familiar passage then verse 34 says this take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof um, back uh, this has been years ago now it's probably around uh, 1999 uh, 2000 um, somewhere around there 2001 I'm not real sure the exact year but I have uh, been saved for a couple of years, uh, I believe that, and, and um, hadn't really learned how to walk with the Lord yet, definitely hadn't learned how to read my Bible yet, um, and not that you have to learn how to read your Bible, uh, I haven't disciplined myself enough to read the Bible yet, and, and uh, so I um, I didn't have a devotional life then, and, and you know, uh, Pastor Barnes and Pastor Groves would give me Bible reading plans, and and uh, Brother uh, Barnes would always encourage me to read John and to read Romans, especially as a new Christian. Yet I never did do those things. I struggled. Every time I opened my Bible, my attention deficit issues would come into effect, and I'd be like, I just couldn't read my Bible. And or wouldn't read my Bible would be the better terminology. And then any time I did, I didn't really understand what I was reading or really care for what I was reading. I hadn't learned how to love God yet. And, um, you know, uh, there's nothing like some hard times, though, to get your focus where it needs to be. And, um, sure enough, we hit some hard times in our family and uh, just some different things happened in my life that uh, uh, were very disruptive and uh, it was very hard to deal with. And, and um, some things that I thought were very stable were no longer stable. For some things that I took for granted and counted on um, went away and... and I'd lost my job, and um, and uh, I'd never lost a job before, and didn't know what to do, and and was really starting to worry because the bills were starting to pile up, and and somebody was telling me to just to wait, uh, don't go get a job yet. I'm going to handle this, and and uh, I was very very much uh, uh, aware of the fact that the bills were continuing, you know, house payments due, electric, uh, you know, groceries need to be bought, all these things, and. And so my concerns became very heavy about what tomorrow would bring, what tomorrow would bring. How am I going to take care of these things? How am I going to do these things? How am I going to go forward? I have to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm the man. I've got to do these things. And and um, I was very, very, very worried. And uh, so that that day, that particular day, I, I had to go pick up my daughter from uh, uh, her preschool, at, which, which was at the church and uh, with Mrs. Groves and and uh, so I went, and, and Pastor Groves was in his office, and I walked by, and he said, "Hey, brother Larry, how you doing?" And that's all it took, right there. Uh, I, I bro broke down and and just couldn't handle it. And we had a conversation, and, and uh, he told me to go home and read my Bible, and I did. And God took me to this passage, chapter six, and I got down here where uh, it, l earlier in chapter six it says, "Take no thought for tomorrow, what the, you know, uh, uh, for what the day may bring forth, what you're going to wear, what you're going to eat." Uh, God closed the sparrows, God closed all these things, so why should I worry about these things? And let me tell you, for the first time in my life, it was like the Lord Jesus Christ himself sat right next to me, put his arms around me and said, Larry, everything's going to be okay. Don't worry about tomorrow. I've got tomorrow. You're my, you're my child. I've got tomorrow. You just worry about today. And this verse is very, uh, it means a lot to me because of that day. So take no thought for tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. There's enough to worry about today. There's enough to put in God's hands today. Put today in God's hands. Let God take care of tomorrow. Love you. Hope to see you tonight. Praying for you. Have a great day. God is good when life doesn't go like we wish it would.